Hello, pottery people. We are going to talk about an issue today um, that I think a lot of us have probably faced. If you're someone who's ever tried to work with lidded forms like a teapot or a jar, sometimes the lid will get stuck to the pot with glaze. And the reason that we fire the lid on the pot is because when the materials get really hot and heated in the kiln, they kind of relax a little bit. And so if you fire the lid separately from the pot, they relax into different forms and they oftentimes just don't have a very good fit. So as scary as it is, I would say if you're making lidded forms, go ahead and do that traditional technique because as long as your lid doesn't get stuck, it's gonna be a really good fit. But let's talk about what to do if you do get a stuck lid. Essentially, this happens because your glaze on the lid has run down a little bit and fused onto the flange. That's what we call the little shelf where the lid rests. So sometimes that you just, it, you can't get it unstuck and that, that does happen sometimes. If you see glaze pooled all the way up to this edge, it's probably just one of those little kiln sacrifices that you need to live with and try to just breathe and let it go. But if it's just a little bit stuck, there are some things you can try to get the lid unstuck. And I'm gonna show you now the one that I have found has worked well for me. So you're going to start with a soft surface, a folded up towel or a piece of foam, anything that um, when, if the two pieces fall apart, that the bottom piece can fall gently onto it and not break, okay? So that's your first thing. Next, you're gonna use not this part of the hammer this part of the hammer. We never want to tap on any of our pottery with anything metal because that will uh, cause a certain reverberation that just causes a breakage. So I'm going to use the end of my hammer that's wood coated in plastic, but really anything wood or um, like I've seen people use a rubber mallet for this, just anything that has a little bit of give, that's what you want. Okay. So here we go. You're gonna hold the lid by the, by the knob because gravity is gonna help us to get this unstuck too. So it's already pulling down, trying to get this bottom part off. And now I'm just gonna gently tap around the edge. And I'm not feeling any movement. <laughs> so that tells me that this guy might be a lost cause. Sometimes if it's gonna work, you can feel it kind of start to vibrate and you can hear it as well. And I'm not hearing any of that right now. Maybe be a little more aggressive, but it's scary because you know, you don't wanna break your work. <laughs> okay, I think we've got our answer on this one, friends. It's not looking good. But if you're lucky enough that this would work, it basically just pops off, falls down onto the towel. And then typically you'll have to do a little bit of cleanup with any glaze that is left here, sand it off, use, a, use whatever you, your preferred tool of sanding is and smooth things out, but then it should be just fine after that. Okay, pottery people, that was a fun fail, but hopefully if you ever have to use this technique, it'll just pop right off. All right, thanks for joining us. Bye, pottery people. Hey Pottery Heads, welcome back to the Pottery Plus Studio. We are coming to you today with a second go round of trying to get this stuck lid off of this teapot. So I just kind of did an experiment with it and I put it back into a glaze fire kiln to see if I could maybe reactivate those glazes and get them to move around a little bit more so that I can get the lid unstuck. So there's a couple good, good things here that I'm excited about that make me think this might have worked. So one thing is, I can hear where the stuck part is and it sounds like this. Really no ting, like no reverberation to it. And then over here, I don't know if y'all can hear the difference between that, but it's a little more tingy. So it makes me think there might have been, like it might have weakened, the seal might have weakened right there. So I might be able to get it off by working around those areas. Also, I can blow air through it. So I know there is some part of it that's not stuck. It's not completely sealed. I can't feel exactly where that air is coming from, but it's a good sign. Now this teapot had decals on it before and taking it back up to a glazed temp, which is for me cone five, 
burned those out because that was just too high. My decals go to cone 06, which is a little bit of a lower temperature. So they're gone, but at this point, we're just messing around with this thing to see if we can get something to work. So here we go. I'm back with my hammer. Not gonna use the metal side, gonna use the rubber side. I'm gonna hold it by the knob. Nervous. Got it. Woo! Yay! Okay, awesome. So that actually worked. So pottery heads. If you have a stuck lid and it's like a really dire situation, I don't know, try refiring because we just had a win. So thank you for joining us for this exciting update and we will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>